he was playing dance theme. I'm going to be reading chapter 14 out of Mr. Popper's Penguins. Mr. Grimble. Look here, said Mr. Popper at breakfast one morning. It says here in the morning chronicle that Mr. Greenthumb, the owner of the Palace Theater, is in town. He's on a string of theaters, or he's got a string of theaters all over the country, so I guess we had better go down and see him. That evening, it was Saturday the 29th of January. The Popper family and their 12 trained penguins, two of them carrying flags in their beaks, left the house behind the Palace Theater. The penguins were now so well trained that Mr. Popper decided that it was not necessary to keep them on leashes. Indeed, they walked to the bus line very nicely in the following line of march. Mr. Popper greeted Captain Crook, Columbus Victoria, Mrs. Popper, Nelson Jenny, Megan Adeline, Billy Popper, Janie Popper, Scott Isabel, and Fred and Louise. The bus stopped at the corner and before the Astonished driver could protest. They had all calmed on, and the bus was on its way. Do I pay half fare for the birds, or do they go free? Said Mr. Popper. Jenny goes half fare, but I'm ten, said Bill. Hush, said Mrs. Popper, as she and the children found their seats. The penguins followed in an orderly fashion. Say, mister, said the driver, where do you think you're going with that exhibit? Downtown, said Mr. Popper. Here, let's call it 50 cents and let it go at that. Tell the truth. I lost count when they went past me, said the driver. It's the trained penguin act, explained Mr. Popper. Are they really birds? asked the driver. Oh, yes, said Mr. Popper. I'm just taking them down to the palace to interview Mr. Grumbum and the big theater owner. Well, if I hear any complaints, off they go in the next corner, said, said the driver. Fair enough, said Mr. Popper, who wanted to ask for transfers in that case, but decided to let well enough alone. The penguins were behaving very well. They were sitting quietly, two in a seat, while the other passengers looked on. Sorry, said Mr. Popper, addressing everyone on the bus, but I'll have to open all the windows. These are Arctic penguins, and they're used to having it a lot colder than this. It took Mr. Popper quite a while to open the windows, which were stuck fast. When he had succeeded, there were plenty of remarks from the other passengers. Many of them began to complain to the driver, who told Mr. Popper to take his birds off the bus. He had to repeat this several times. Finally, he refused to take the bus any farther. Mr. Popper had to get off. By this time, however, the bus had gone so far downtown that none of them minded having to go onto the street. Only a block ahead and then shone the lights of the Palace Theater. Hello, said the theater manager as the poppers and the penguins trot past them. Sure, Mr. Greenham's here in my office. You know, I've heard about these birds of yours, but I didn't really believe it. Mr. Greenbum met the popper penguins. I'll be leaving you. I've got to go backstage. The penguins now, standing politely in two rows of six each, looked curious at Mr. Greenbum. Their 24 white circled eyes were very solemn. All you people crowding around the door, go back where you belong, said Mr. Greenbaum. There is a private conference. Then he got up to shut the door. The poppers sat down while Mr. Greenbaum walked up and down the double row of penguins, looking them over. It looks like an act, he said. Oh, it's an act, all right, said Mr. Popper. It's poppers performing penguins, first time on any stage, direct from the South Pole. He and Mr. Popper had thought up this name for the act. Could we, could we call them Popper's Pink Toad Penguins? asked Mr. Greenbaum. Mr. Popper thought for a moment. No, he said. I'm afraid we couldn't. This sounds too much like chorus girls or ballet dancers, and these birds are pretty serious. I don't think they like it. All right, said Mr. Greenbaum. Show me the act. There's their Here's their music to it, said Jenny. Mama plays the piano. Is that true, madam? asked Mr. Greenbaum. Yes, sir, answered Ms. Mrs. Popper. Well, there's a piano behind you, said Mr. Greenbaum. You may begin, madam. I want to see this act. If it's any good, you people have come to the right place. I've got theaters from coast to coast, but first let's see your penguins perform. Ready, madam? We'd be, be we'd better move the furniture fast, said Bill. The end.